that all my life. Three, four years ago, it was a bit slower. It was really slow. Now, I think it's better. It's faster and more efficient. Internet access in Africa was extremely poor, extremely expensive and a lot of folk were disadvantaged in getting access to information because the connectivity was pretty bad. It was mostly satellite. The main goal was to give Africans the opportunity to compete in information at pretty much the same level as the rest of the world. Much of the traffic within Africa was exchanged in Europe or in North America, but with more connectedness now happening in Africa, peering in Africa is more viable. Peering is uh, an arrangement between two or more networks to come together and interconnect and exchange traffic um, for the benefit of their customers, improving performance uh, and reducing their costs. Before peering within Africa, sending an email to somebody in Mozambique, that traffic will leave South Africa, hop on a satellite system or on a cable system, go all the way to Europe and then find its way down via another provider into Africa all the way into Mozambique. In the life of an internet packet, that's a long time to wait. That email now doesn't even leave the continent. 10% of the amount of work that needs to get done is technical. 90% of it is actually finding the right person to engage with you on the idea about peering. A lot of networks will be reluctant to peer with one another, especially the bigger ones, because they feel that they are giving up an advantage they've accrued over time. But after, it is now a whole that service providers in Africa and the rest of the world can come to and discuss peering and bandwidth and content issues that affect Africans. They're competitors publicly, but privately they need to collaborate. We are actually getting about 72% of our traffic through peering. So the faster the customer can get it, the more traffic they'll use, the better experience they'll have. Some companies, the bigger companies, tend to have draconian bully type act peering policies where they won't let the smaller guys peer with them. We have an open peering policy. By directly exchanging traffic with CECOM in the multiple locations that we do, we keep the traffic local, keep the costs down, higher throughput and better performance, most importantly, for our customers and their customers. Partnering with Liquid makes sense. Uh, they cover a, a whole lot of area in Africa that we do not and we do the same. Selective peering doesn't work for the benefit of the end users, the benefit of the ecosystem, the benefit of the continent as a whole. Well, what makes a good peering relationship is you enjoy exchanging traffic with them, you enjoy growing your networks together, you enjoy meeting with them at uh, peering forum, leveraging each other's infrastructure to grow your nation, your economy, and obviously your customers as well. Everybody around you will peer. If you find yourself being the one that doesn't peer, you get caught out. Uh, from the competition and that's how you lose your business. You're not an island, you're part of an ecosystem and you need to work together to make the internet work. 